Welcome to yet another edition of Expert Talks by Calkine TV. I'm Sage. Today's guest is Mr. Evangelos Lampos, founder of Eliminator. So underwater surveillance of a plethora of objects is essential for numerous organizations, from sewers to underwater cables and nets. And now we have an artificial intelligence-led system to help maintain these types of underwater systems and infrastructure. And our guest today will help us understand this new technology better. Eliminator's software gives their clients a real-time signal if any damage is occurring to their underwater business infrastructure. Keep watching to find out more. So bringing you live today, we have Mr. Evangelos Lampos, founder of Eliminator. Welcome to the show, Evangelos. It's an honor to be with you tomorrow morning, today morning. Oh, I'm right. currently in Greece, so it's a different time zone. Oh, fantastic. Well, thank you for fitting us in. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Evangelos, with your expertise, we better make the most of our time together. Can you talk us through uh, the working of your software that helps detect a plethora of objects underwater? Yeah, so our startup is named Eliminatore, uh, more specifically. It's a startup that operates in the industry of aquaculture. Me and my partner, during our studies, in economical sciences, after our studies, to be more accurate, we developed the software. The, as a student, I used to work during my uh, holidays in aquaculture companies, where I noticed that many functions of, of the industry of the aquaculture can be made differently. And when I say differently, I, may, I mean by using more intelligent ways of thinking. For that reason, and thanks to the open sources tools that currently are available through the internet, we made it possible to develop a software that can detect any kind of damage that is happening over a fish net. Wow, that is incredible. So would you please elaborate on the significance of this automated underwater surveillance for present day use cases? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very important. It's very important to be able to, to detect anything that can happen because firstly, you are in position to save money for your client, for your partner. Second, it's costlier. Furthermore, you are in position to give them a solution, to give them a solution and an alternative in a way to distribute their own sources in a different in a different way in more in a way that can be more profitable for the whole company we are using our underwater devices and with the help of our software we actually have developed only the software not the devices we are in position to notify them in a real time if anything wrong is going under the water for that reason the computer vision it's crucially important for our job and we have spent about four years of our life developing this project. Nowadays we are in a, in a great position to launch, to launch our business. That is amazing. So in the past we've kind of relied on sonar, radar technology to direct us underwater and now your software enables visual camera yeah. feedback for us. Is that what you're saying? Have I understood correctly what your company does? It, exactly, exactly. By the help of only one camera, you are, in, you are in position not to control always your monitor, not to have your eyes always on the monitor, but if anything that you want to detect, any kind of shape, any way, if it's a, sh uh, a, sh a sunny day or a, a different climate conditions, anything that you want to identify and you are not in position to stay in front of a computer, our software is in, is in position to make it possible. Okay. We just need a device, that's all. We have bought an ROV with our own expenses and currently we are develop developing also a way of uh, equipment. Great, so your software allows these systems to all talk to each other, collate data and I suppose read patterns and anomalies in patterns and behavior. So how can these real-time stats help businesses and how extensively can these businesses use the data that's captured? In our cases, we are giving our clients many alternatives. 
Firstly, they don't have to use manpower. It's something that's very dangerous and we are giving them the opportunity to remove this kind of danger. Furthermore, we are giving them a way to distribute more healthier their money. By saying that, I mean they can identify if a biomass of a huge amount is increasing over the net or pro probably the aging of the net is taking place. So by adding these two very important factors in our equation, we are coming to a conclusion that as a business owner of aquaculture company, you want to know every time if you have to make any kind of adjustment in order to expand your ability of profit in this inspector by meaning the net. That is amazing. So much data must be captured for you to be able to extrapolate the information required. Sounds like an amazing task. So apparently humans are more familiar with outer space than underwater of our own planet. So how is your software safe for this aquatic life that's so foreign to us? It's the most crucial question I have always been asked by many, many business owners. For me, it's very simple. We are so we are very safe. We are very safe for a simple for a simple reason. We are not using our own equipment. We are buying equipment from companies that have been in the, in the maritime industry for for many years. So they are certified. By doing this kind of operation, we are in position to get the best of their value plus editing the value of our software to give to our business partner the best chance out there to be in the in a position to antagonize all other kind of businesses. Great. Sounds like you're offering a very important solution there, saving uh, money for many businesses. Four years, four years from our life. This is <laughs> what the time span that took us to be in this kind of position. It's amazing. So you'd say you're using binary code or mainly mathematics to achieve these solutions? Exactly. We are using Python and OpenCV to be more accurate. And always you have to make some adjustment in the algorithm because it's not the same condition if, even if it's uh, the sun or maybe a windy day or a rainy day. The condition under the water, the ability to see are very, very different. So you have to combine this far, far or five or more patterns into one so the algorithm to be able to detect anything no matter the conditions fantastic sounds like it's a very adaptive emerging technology and lastly as we wind up this very interesting discussion what are your plans for eliminatore for 2022 please yeah we have spent many many the previous years doing many pilots in two countries greece and cyprus Currently, we are adjusting our pilot. We are in position currently to look for, for partners, to look for partners, not only in the Mediterranean, but also in any other place that aquaculture industry is taking place. We want to make our patent. We have just started the old precision here in Greece. And in 2022, we hope to be in position to expand to many, many more markets by the help of venture capitals, probably by bootstrapping, but hoping for the best, it's never going to be a good motivation for your own sake. Well, sounds like you have a lot of passion for your project and best of luck with moving forward and your growth and your goals for expansion. Thank you, thank you very much. Thanks for the opportunity to drop some light to our job. It's not something yes. that you cannot easily find these days because, you know, everybody is not giving so much attention about the maritime industry, about what AI is going to be in some years, not only in the maritime industry, but also in the space. So we are using the same patterns, the same logic behind the algorithms. So if you you have to do it, to do it quickly yes, and, and if... not to waste any, any time yes, because somebody um... is on the corner <laughs> looking for it. That's sooner right. or later. So if we have partners watching who are potential partners who are interested in joining up or helping your cause, how can they contact you, please? We have our website, eliminatore.com. Fantastic. In Thank the, you in so the, much. In the site, they, they can check also our video, mm -hmm. our MVP, our email, everything, our story so far. 
great. Sounds awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your work with us today. We do appreciate it. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. And if you've just joined us, we had a very interesting discussion. Mr. Evangelos Lampos, founder of Limin Eliminatore, based in Greece. And for the full interview, please head to Calkine Media's YouTube channel. Keep watching for more live expert talks, market updates. And as we say, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.